Good morning, everyone. This is Alonzo from alonzosblog.com. I was 16 years in Scientology, 15 years in anti-Scientology, and now I've been eight years out of both writing about each. So today I'm going to take up this claim of Mike Rinders that he's been making since around 2009, that he has gone to the FBI and given them everything that they've ever asked for. So he makes that claim again in his infamous post here where he tries to gaslight everyone. And I am going to show that at least one incidence, he is telling a bald face lie. So this is the part of the blog post where he claims to have gone to the FBI. I will show, prove that he is lying in at least one case here. And let me repeat something that I have said many times before. One of the broad false allegations is that I'm currently withholding evidence of wrongdoing that I allegedly committed while I was in Scientology because I fear being prosecuted. I have been questioned, interviewed by the FBI and other law enforcement agencies on numerous occasions over the past 15 years and have admitted to anything I knew or did even if it meant incriminating myself. In fact, I have spent literally hundreds of hours answering questions and providing documents, briefings, and assistance to law enforcement agencies around the United States and worldwide. I have never refused to answer any of their questions. I have done everything I possibly could to persuade law enforcement to prosecute Scientology. The usual response from the FBI and DOJ is that they need more recent information because of problems with the statute of limitations. Even when I have brought them witnesses and documents just a year or two old, which I have done numerous times over a decade. I escaped Scientology in 2007 after being in the hole and off OSA lines for several years before that. That is more than 20 years ago. These last two sentences are a bald-faced lie, and I will now prove it. If you have ever read John Sweeney's excellent book, The Church of Fear, Inside the Weird World of Scientology, or seen his BBC Panorama documentary, aired May 14th, 2007, you will see full documentation that Mike Rinder is lying when he said, I escaped Scientology in 2007 after being in the hole and off OSA lines for several years before that. That is a lie. Inside this book, John Sweeney, The Church of Fear, there are text messages from David Miscavige to Tommy Davis and Mike Render, driving in cars, following John Sweeney around and harassing him and trying to get him to explode in front of TV cameras, as is in this picture when he was visiting the CCH Museum. And I'm telling you, if you haven't seen this, you have got to see it. In that documentary and in this book, it is absolutely and fully documented by a top world famous BBC journalist that Mike Render was not off OSA lines, as he has continually stated. He was working directly with David Miscavige, doing OSA's work of shuttering journalists into silence. It's another example of Mike Rinder himself providing the evidence that he is lying. Mike Rinder gave John Sweeney the text messages for him to use in this book. Mike Rinder was interviewed by John Sweeney in another follow-up documentary where Mike said that me and Tommy Davis were following you around and our job was trying to get you to blow up in front of TV cameras so that you would discredit yourself. He was not off OSA lines. He is lying to everyone about this.
So let's go back to his claims about going to the FBI and law enforcement. Because I've watched Mike Rinder for decades, and I've watched him lie, like I just showed you here, and many other times, I do not believe him when he says he did. And I will give you my reasoning. So here he says, I have been questioned, interviewed by the FBI and law enforcement agencies on numerous occasions over the past 15 years, and have admitted to anything I knew or did even if it meant incriminating myself. All right. So he said his first claim was that he immediately went to the FBI when he got out in 2007 and told them everything. Now he's saying he's done that on numerous occasions over the past 15 years. I don't have any evidence that shows that he's bald faced lying here like I do down below. However, let's just step back and look at this, I don't know, objectively. Mike Rinder has had a blog since 2011 where he has made a post every single day. If he went to the FBI in 2007, he has never told anyone via his blog what he told the FBI. And his frustrations that he seems to say here about how they've done nothing, and they keep saying that it's too old, et cetera, et cetera. His frustrations here were never alleviated by him just saying, hey, this is what I told the FBI, and they're not doing anything about it. That's on his blog. But he also had three seasons of a TV show with Leo Remini, and that one episode, not even one section of the episode, was Mike Grinder talking about, yeah, this is what I told the FBI about. And then, of course, there was the podcast, the Fair Game podcast, where they said, the gloves are off. All of the restraints of commercial TV are off us now, and we can tell the truth that we were not able to tell on Scientology in the aftermath. Not one episode, not one statement, not one section of anything did Mike Rinder ever say, this is what I told the FBI about. And then there's the Mike and Lily vids. Not even one of those has even a statement. This is what I told the FBI about. So if Mike Rinder did go to the FBI, it hasn't done anyone any good. And he has never said what it is that he told the FBI. In all of these years of frustrating inaction from law enforcement, Mike Rinder has never just bypassed that old thing and said, look, I told the FBI about this, this, and this. Now, here is the bottom line. No victim of Mike Rinder's, no victim of Scientology's has seen justice for anything Mike Rinder has ever told the FBI. So does it matter if Mike Rinder went to the FBI? No. No one has benefited. And I got to tell you, because of what I've observed out of Mike Rinder, almost two decades now, and that includes him fair gaming me, getting me fired from my job, all that, all that. Mike Rinder is a liar. I do not believe him when he says he went to the FBI. And this is why. All right. I, I hope I, again, I've made my point. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Be sure to subscribe, like follow and do all that stuff that Mike Rinder hates about people who expose him on YouTube. All right. Thanks. Over and out.